Okay, this video is going to show you how to do a scrolling message the easy way. Although it might look slightly complicated in places, it's actually quite trivial. Um, right, I'm going to add this to my title screen. Okay, so I'm going to be running a subroutine from start title. So I'm just going to stick it at the bottom and I'm going to um, call it start scrolling text. Okay, so I just added that in there. It doesn't exist, so I'm going to right click on it and say generate method stub. Okay, now what I need to create is some text. Um, so I'm going to just above this subroutine create this text permanently. So I'm going to say string uh, scrolling message equals and then I open a double quote for my text so I'm going to just put some instructions so I'm going to say press 5 to enter credits um, and I'm going to leave some spaces then I'm going to put a double quote to end the string but I'm going to put plus and I'm going to continue it on the next line okay it just keeps it tidy instead of me like scrolling off because I could have just done this but you get horizontal scroll and you don't want any of that. Okay, so it makes it easier to follow if you keep it simple. So I'm also going to say press uh, up, oop, up and down cursor to control menu and a load of spaces to put a plus again at the end and so I'm then going to say press left control to select highlighted option and then I'm going to put dot 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 and some spaces okay so that's the message I'm going to scroll what I'm also going to create is a text attribute for this text attribute ta scroller equals new text attribute. I'm going to make my font one and a half times normal size. Leave the standard kerning. I want color dot what should we go for? Um, blue, arcade blue that is. And I'm going to align my text at the bottom left. It'll make it easy for me to set this up later. So I'm going to say align dot bottom Okay, right, so they're the two things I need for this. Now back to my subroutine. The first thing I want to do is create a text store. So I'm going to say text store t equals new text store. And I want to pick my font. I'm going to use the Gradius font because I actually love the Gradius font. The text I want is my scrolling message. The position I'm going to put it, I'm going to start it off the screen. So I'm going to say screen size dot width and I want it at the bottom of the screen which is why I set the get away, why I set the bottom left alignment so I can put the screen bottom and it will sit my text right down at the bottom. Okay. So that creates my text door. Oops, hang on a minute, I forgot my text attribute so we called it TA scroller so let's put that in TA scroller okay so that's gone off the screen a little bit so we set up the text so it's like we do all text stores right the next thing we're going to do we're not going to draw this normally we're going to draw this as sprites and make use of the sprite engine to do the scrolling for us which is quite clever so we're going to create a dummy sprite, uh, and this is I'm going to call wrapper because that's what it's going to do. So it's just going to be a sprite. I'm not going to add it to the engine. It's just going to have some properties for me. So one of those properties is going to be a limit box. So let's initialize the limit system for it, and then set up the limit box. What I want to do when the text scrolls to the other end of the screen and goes off I want it to repeat so it carries on scrolling in a big loop but I don't want it to repeat straight away because there is still part of the message scrolling so I want it to actually repeat 
at the end of the message. Now, let's see how we can do that. We can use what we call a region action, and we can create a rectangle that we want this sprite to be affected by. Okay, so I want it to be the edge of the screen, so that's no, the left hand edge. I'm going to create a, a big rectangle here, so I'm saying from the top left corner, the width of it is what I'm interested in. So the width of the screen normally is 800, so I can say 800 or screen size dot width. If I can type properly, I can. Width. What I want to add on to that is the length of this text. Now I can ask the text store how long it's going to take. So I can say render line length of a single line because it's all in one line. Okay. So I can go like that. So I add those two values together. Now I don't want it to repeat straight away. Um, so what I'm going to do is before that I'm just going to say add on 100 to this width. Now it's moaning at me, okay, um, because that is a float value and we wanted an integer. So we just put int just in front of it. It's called casting, so we're saying convert it to an integer for me. Right, the vast value is the height, so I'm just going to put, well, I'm going to put screen size dot height and I'm just going to add on a little bit. I'm not bothered about the height but I want to make sure that the sprites are inside the limit box otherwise it won't work very well. Okay so that defines the rectangle and then I need the limit action. So the limit action is going to be wrap exact. Now that's gone off the screen again so what I'm going to do is just going to put my cursor just for a new rectangle and press enter okay and then after the comma I'm going to do that just to make it a little bit easier to follow you don't have to do that I've just chosen to do that okay we also want these characters to, to move so we're going to give this wrapper velocity so we're going to say velocity dot x equals minus 150 so that's left 150 pixels per second so that's how fast my scrolling message is going to go okay right the next thing we need to do is modify the text store um, because by default text stores after 800 characters they will create a line break and start printing text on the end and we don't want to do that so what we're going to do is we're going to access the properties of our text store called T and the line breaks after we're going to set to a massive number okay and that number is going to be the maximum value for an integer okay which is about two billion so if our length of our scrolling text goes over two billion pixels then it will cause a line break so hopefully that won't happen I'm not going to spend uh, the time typing in two billion pixels worth of characters Okay, so that should force it to just carry on in one line. Okay, last bit, actually do the drawing. So we ask the text manager, so text manager, draw as sprites, and tell it what text do I want to draw, T. Say what Z position, so I want this in front of things, so I'm going to say 3000. I can add lots of different properties to the wrapper to do all this, but I'm just using this and then I'm going to say sprite attributes well use the things that I've set for wrapper okay so we only have to do that once it's not like dynamic text where you have to keep drawing it from general logic you can just do this once because it's been set up as a set of sprites okay so let's just do f6 make sure it builds there you go bottom left hand corner it says build succeeded so let's try and run it and see what happens hopefully it'll work you never know it might not the first video of don't wear everything don't work there you go so there's the blue text jerking because of the recording software remember so one time to press up and down cursor to control menu there you go scrolling away press left control to select highlighted 
options. Now notice there's no um, lowercase letters in this, so they're generated as uppercase. And there goes me dot dot dots going off screen and message to start again. So if I change the font, uh, let's go for another one. Let's go for Asimov. It's a nice font. Run that again. I think the blue's a bit dark. I'll change that when I try this again. So there you go. It's using the lowercase. Let's go for Atari and bold. But I'm going to change the font color and I'm going to make it cornflower blue. That's Microsoft blue, that is. For some other reason. There you go. So press bar to enter credits. Now. Can you see the special effects are going over the top of that text? And I don't want that to happen. So, like I say, I'm going to go back to the wrapper and I'm going to have oh, wrapper and I'm going to change its layer. So that's wrapper.layer because render layer dot. And I'm going to put it on the hood layer, okay, which is drawn after all the sprites and the foreground, mid, and background tile map. So it should appear over the top of that text. I'm going to change the font again in a sec as well. Just want to make sure that, that works. Then I'm going to change the font for my final run. So watch the special effects when they come down the bottom. They're now behind that text. Uh, let's pick a nicer font than that. I like the Autobahn one, so I'm going to go for that. Okay, let's run that. And obviously I can mess about with this at will. Um, I love the Autobahn font. It's quite nice, that. It's not very fast, I'm going to make it a bit faster, so let's make it 300 pixels per second. Run it again. In fact, I hate that cornflower blue, so I'm going to change that to mank. God, I found on my laptop's going mental. So hopefully there's the dot dot dots and it'll start again in a minute. There you go. And that's how you do. It's got a message.